Bon, bon. Would you like to get to know more about the people behind Theatrephonic, the writers, the actors and directors? Well, now you can. Our Patreon members have the opportunity to ask questions which our creatives will then answer, if I can get hold of them. Find out everything you want to know about the people behind the characters. Visit patreon.com forward slash theatrephonic for more information. That's patreon.com forward slash theatrephonic. On with the play. Bon, bon. Theatrephonic presents Would Kafka Kill a Cockroach? Written by Tilly Lunken. It's just so complicated. I didn't ask you to gatecrash my class. And yet completely stupid. My degree is not stupid. I mean, if you can't even agree on what type of bloody insect this Gregor bloke wakes up as, then what is the fucking point? I think that is the point, Johnson. It doesn't matter. What does matter is he has changed and the reactions to it. Humans are so cruel. Uh, Isn't he a massive bug? A giant insect-like creature, I think you'll find. (laughs) Although... I prefer to think of him as a cockroach, as they're kind of cute, don't you think? Uh, Only you, Anna. Haven't you seen Wally? What? It's adorable. Whatever. Anyway, just be thankful you don't have to write a creative response to the prompt, Would Kafka kill a cockroach? The metamorphosis might not be stupid, but that question is... (laughs) What a load of bollocks. Yeah, it's been bugging me. I foolishly was hoping you might have some ideas. How can they set that topic if they can't even agree it actually is a cockroach? Oh, let it go. You should come to one of my classes sometime. I'm just going to go dump my stuff in my room. Anna? Seriously, no one ever listens to me in this house. Oh, look. The last apple. And nobody to judge me eating it without checking in with who bought it. Maybe it'll give me the knowledge to... Ah! What the hell are you... Cockroach! That was my apple. Cockroach. Honestly, Johnson. It's over there now. It's a cockroach. Yes. A real cockroach. Yes. In our kitchen. Yes. Do something. Oi, keep your monkey apple. Ah, it moved. No sudden movements, no sudden movements. You all right, Anna? Do I look all right? Keep your eyes on it, Johnson. If we lose it, it's all over. I thought you liked cute little cockroaches. Not in real life. I'm not particularly fond of them myself. But buck up, Anna. It's just a tiny bug. Not the time. A tiny bug that scuttles across the tiles, leaving a dirty trail behind it that festers and... Uh, Is it moving? I can't look. Well... uh, Well... Aren't you going to kill it? No. But you need to do something. If you're so keen to spatter Gregor Samsa across our kitchen floor, you do it. I'm vegan. Well, it's not like I eat insects. My God, I am supposed to be writing a theoretical essay about this dilemma, not fucking living it. Anna. And I don't see what the hell Gregor Samsa has to do with anything. This is a very real problem, whereas the metamorphosis is an entirely fictional parable. Maybe we could feed it milk and bread. Not funny. Hang on, I have an idea. Pass me that pint glass. Yeah, I mean, why not? Have a drink. I meant, (sighs) let's leave it for Nick to deal with. And meanwhile, have it run away and breed a colony under the fridge. Great idea, Johnson. You're full of genius. Thanks. I mean, I shouldn't expect any more of you, seeing as you... Got it! Safe and signed. Great. Now we can leave it for Nick to deal with. I just said that... Never mind. Right. How long have we got? Until what? It suffocates? I have no idea. You know, it's a pretty horrible way for you to kill something. I'm not killing anything. I wasn't the one who trapped it in an airless glass prison. No, but you were up on the table screaming for murder. How is it doing? Uh, It looks happy enough. Anna, stop twitching! I don't like this! Should have put the kettle on. 
We can't drink tea while it's dying. Well, it isn't dying yet. Oh, where's Nick? This isn't like him at all. <sighs> Surely not. I didn't say anything. Neither did I. <sighs> oh, my brain is completely fried from your stupid arse class. Where is Nick then? I have no idea. He said he'd be home. He texted as we were leaving campus. Oh, I can't get through. Nick! Nick! What if it is Nick? Not that it is. But what if it was? I don't know. This is crazy. Oh, look, his feelers are tapping against the glass. Oh, insane. I'm sure he's trying to communicate. Hmm. Well, it is sort of dancing now. It's not a bee, it's Nick. Well, you don't know that it is. You don't know that it isn't. Yeah, confusing me doesn't make it true. It doesn't not make it true either. Anna! It's all right, Nick. We're here and we are hearing you. Don't worry, we'll think of something. I'm so sorry Johnson threw an apple at you. Hey! Nick? Nick? Can you hear me? Can you hear us? Maybe the glass is in the way. Won't he just run away if we take it off? No sudden movements. Let's see. Lift it up. Carefully. He's looking rather intently in your direction, Anna. You have an admirer. Oh, shut it, Johnson. There. Would you look at that? He's just sitting there waving. Hello, Nick. Hello, Nick. Hello. Ah! Nick? Uh, yeah. Hello. Over here? Is there a reason why you're both on the floor communing with an empty pint glass? We are communing with you in cockroach form, actually. Cockroach? Why the hell haven't you squashed the bastard? Use the bloody book already! We thought it might have been you. What? One read of Kafka and you're both crawling up the walls of your own insanity? Kill it now! No! They make my skin crawl. Well, you make me sick. Hey, not long ago you were all for killing him too. Why didn't you? Cockroaches are people too. They're not. They might be. You never know. He could have been you, Nick. You are completely crazy. He's still here, isn't he? I think he likes us in spite of everything. That insect is not and has never been me. Well, who is it then? Anna. Johnson. Look at me. It might. It just might be conceivable that it's just some grotty cockroach. Nick, he's right there. Just some dumb fucking insect who chose to make his home in our kitchen. Ah, he chose us. Christ. Maybe it's Joe. He normally comes round for dinner on Tuesdays. Forget it. Anyway, there isn't even consensus that Gregor is a cockroach. You haven't even got a shred of fictional evidence to back up your crazy shit. Since when did you know anything? I do know that it isn't a Joe version of a horrible little scuttler that lives in the crevices outside humanity. You mustn't listen to Nick, whoever you are. <gasps> Let's call him Gregor! Hello, Gregor. Oh. Fuck me. What would Kafka do? He'd do what any sane man would do in this situation. Kill the fucker. With his own fucking book. <gasps> oh. Murderer! It's a cockroach! I don't think it counts. You are such an arsehole, Nick. How could you just squish- Oh, Gregor. Johnson. Don't look at me. Oh, come on. This is ridiculous. Please, Anna. Get away from me. We were so awful to him. We imprisoned him. We nearly drove him out of his home. Anna. And we're no better than the rest of humanity for that. But you killed him. Anna. What? Your book. In what corner of your perverted universe do you think that I would want that book, Nick? No. Look at it. It's clean. He got away? Gregor got away. He got away. He got away. Yeah. <sighs> Come on, boy. Yeah. Well, aren't you going to apologise? For what? You know something, Nick. I liked you better as a cockroach. You wanted to kill me then, too. Shut up. You know what this means. What? 
Gregor Samsa couldn't have woken up as a cockroach. Why? He died. Gregor died. And the cockroach always survives. I think you might be right. Besides, we now know that they aren't monstrous vermin at all. They are quite cute, in fact. Just like Nick. Except, unfortunately, he doesn't fit into a pint class. You have been listening to Would Kafka Kill a Cockroach? Written by Tilly Lunken. Directed by Emmeline Brayfield. With Gareth Turkington as Johnson, Honey McKenna as Anna, and Rob Penny as Nick. Produced by Cat on a Piano Productions. For a full list of the music included in the play, please see our show notes. The theatrephonic theme tune was composed by Jackson Pentland. Performed by Jackson Pentland, Molly Fife Taylor, and Emmeline Brayfield. For more information about the Theatrephonic podcast, go to catonapiano.uk forward slash Theatrephonic. Tweet or Instagram us at Theatrephonic or visit our Facebook page. If you enjoy Theatrephonic and would like to get more content, please consider becoming a patron by going to patreon.com forward slash Theatrephonic. Please don't forget to rate and review. Thank you for listening. Bye.